Fashion and Bloom, that is the theme for the 2024 Greenville Fashion Week, and now is the time for you and your family to get involved. Mm -hmm. We're joined by Megan Hines, the Executive Director of Greenville Fashion Week. We're also joined by models Julie, Emma, and Lila. Thank you guys so much for being here with us. Thank you for having us. beautiful pink, Thank which you. is, that is Thank the theme you. for 2024. How did you come up with, with the theme? Because you guys have done like a bit of everything, yeah. and it's, it's always a great event. But tell us about this theme and this year looking into 2024. Well, you know, I feel like it was the perfect time. We're blooming, we're growing. It's springtime, uh -huh. so fashion and bloom just, you know, it fit for this year, and we're so excited for all things floral um, and to continue blooming as we continue to add new components this year. And it's been such a big part of, like, the Greenville scene. Everybody wants to be at Greenville Fashion yes. Week. They want to be in the shows. I mean, when you're sitting back, you see people like, oh, I want to do that. I want to be able to do that. And you guys are very inclusive when it comes to these shows. Absolutely. And a big part of that is the tween and the kids show that you guys do. Yes, it's one of our favorites. Yeah. And so <laughs> tell us about the deadline first today that people need to be aware of to get involved with that. So tonight at midnight, our kids and tween applications close as ages five to 14. Um, and it's just really a truly awesome experience for the young girls to see their confidence just bloom on the runway. It's such a positive environment um, and the kids really get to strut their stuff. So if your kid is the star of the show at home <laughs> or if you want to see their confidence bloom, get those applications in tonight by midnight. It's such a great goal too to be like to see someone come out of their shell and to bloom Absolutely. like you said. It's really cool to be able to see that happen. Uh, you guys have all been involved in these shows. Yes. Tell us about your involvement. Yeah, so I really, Lila was really the inspiration for us all. She started, she did her first year and she killed it. She was amazing. And we all went to watch her and I just kind of got inspiration from her because I was like, my little sister is, she was nine years old at the time and she did that and I want to do that um, too. So I auditioned the next year and got placed as a top model finalist and I've done it for two years and about to audition for my third. So I'm really excited. What I, is it like up there on the stage? Like is it like, it's a, that, that runway so is I the longest runway in the country it seems like. It is incredibly <laughs> long but I love it because it's just, you get so much confidence when you're up there and just walking and knowing that you prepared for this moment is just one thing that I love doing every time. Awesome. And you can do it as a family, like it's mm -hmm. a family thing. Yes, so Lila started at Emma Joined and then last year I'm like, I might as well do this too. <laughs> and there's also another lady that was in her 70s up there doing mm -hmm. it and rocking it. So I was like, okay, I'll do it. And um, we had a great time. And I just love how it does that. It shows so much diversity in ages and just just differences in, your, in who you are. Lila has alopecia. She's had it since she was five. She doesn't let it stop her. And they didn't let it stop her either. And they embrace her and she just has the best time. Even threw her wig off last year for everybody. <laughs> it was love quite that. spectacular. We love so. here in North Carolina sharing the story of the alopecia community and how that mm -hmm. confidence is so important. Uh, Lila, tell us about your experience on the runway. How is that for you? Do you enjoy it? Yes, it's very fun. Um, last year, um, I think I didn't know how long it would be because I haven't been there in a year, but it was really <laughs> fun. And you just threw your wig off and you said, I'm just going to let them see me. <laughs> Which awesome. is really her anyway, but yeah. she, she, she did wear it for that. So awesome. it, was, it was really a great experience and we look forward to doing it again. Awesome. So, so. everybody out there, you, you guys need to join the party because it's, it's a party on yeah. the road. It is so much fun. Everyone I talk to, I'm like, do it. I'll send do you the it. application it's, right it's now. It's <laughs> such a family too. It's mm -hmm. not cutthroat or anything. It's mm -hmm. just a lot of fun. All the friends you meet, the makeup artists, the hairstylists, they're all like our friends now, yeah. not just, you know, this event it's we do once team. a year. Like, Greenville Fashion team. Week is such a big team yeah. and a big family. And that's one of my favorite on the Saturday night show, when everybody comes out that have been involved oh. in the show, you really get to see, them and see how many the people scenes. are involved in the show that you put together. Yeah. So it, it's incredible. And of course, you guys have an emerging designer competition, lots yeah, of ways right. to get involved. But again, this one, uh, the deadline is tonight and then later on the 29th. Yes, Remind sir. us again how we can sign up for that. So the 15 and up, our deadline is December the 29th. So go to gvlfashionweek.com if you would like to volunteer with us, be a photographer, an emerging designer. All those applications are on our website. And join our fashion family. As we just said multiple times, it truly is a family and it extends well beyond the runway, not just <laughs> that one week in April. Awesome. And what are the dates this year for it's the shows? April the 2nd through the 6th. So be sure to mark those on your calendar. And start planning your floral prints right now. Yes. So you get, uh, get uh, all the photos taken from all the photographers that are there. So again, gvlfashionweek.com <laughs> is the website to go check out again get in on those deadlines if you want to have you and your family on the runway thank you guys so much thank, thank you, you. We'll see you on the runway all right. so <laughs> thank you so much coming up next year on yc it is feel good friday and the back to 30 ladies are here to help us feel our best we're going to tell you more about that and some of the services they are offering
and multi-platinum progressive rock group Trans-Siberian Orchestra is back with their 2023 winter tour, The Ghost of Christmas Eve, The Best of TSO, and more. We have your chance to see this popular group, a multi-century spectacular when they come to the Bonsal Corps Wellness Arena tomorrow. There are still tickets available. You can head over to Ticketmaster.com to get those. But again, that's coming up tomorrow. You definitely want to snag those tickets, the ones that are left. You're watching YC presented by Hammering.